Good afternoon, everybody. Glad to have you all here for the 42nd induction ceremony for the Blue Raider Hall of Fame. The Blue Raider Hall of Fame began in 1976, and today we will have six more individuals and go into a group that has a total of 140 former student athletes. The purpose of the Blue Raider Hall of Fame is to identify and honor in a permanent manner those individuals who have achieved excellence in athletics at Middle Tennessee and those others who have contributed to the advancement of athletics at the university by their support in time or resources or both. Last night we had a celebration with our inductees and today it all becomes official. And as we mentioned, there are 140 people currently in the Hall of Fame, and many of those are with us today. Did, but I'm gonna wing it. I hope I remember to thank everyone. Uh, first of all, congratulations to all, to the rest of the inductees. Well done. It meant the world to me. It's probably the most fun that, that I had in my whole uh, life. And, uh, uh, yeah, and I would really like to thank one special person. Uh, he really means a lot to me. Without his hard work and his dedication, I wouldn't be here today, and I probably wouldn't have a degree either. But, I mean, many hurdles later, and um, I came here, and I absolutely loved it. I had the four best years of my life, and um, I can't thank Dale enough, you know. It's been an awesome ride and I'm very happy that I did it. Um, again, thank you to MTSU, thank you to the staff and administration, Zachy, Diane, Witt, um, Chris, Dr. McPhee, um, you guys, you guys mean the world to us. I said that last night, Emily and I have a lot of great uh, memories here from Murfreesboro. We, uh, we um, got married while we lived here. We, I got my first job here. Um, uh, Scarlett was born here, so uh, we will forever th uh, be thankful to MTSU and, and Murphy's World. Um, I want to thank Andreas for three unforgettable years. Um, he, uh, your, mentor, your friendship means a lot to me. Um, I know we're in our separate ways after college, but uh, I, cheer on, I cheer you on every time I can, uh, I can do so. Um, I'm very proud of uh, what you're doing to two and how you represent us, so keep it up. and. Um, I'm honored to keep, uh, call you a friend. I know I didn't, I didn't thank Emily properly at the NCAAs. Um, I, for, I for some reason forgot to thank her. Um, I thanked everybody else but her, so I'm not going to mess this up here. Um, uh, you push me every day to be the best that I can. You pushed me while I was in college. Um, Emily spoke with this thick mind with this thick, and she still had to push me, but she did it. Um, I'm very proud of uh, your great mom and a great, great wife. Um, and, I'll be forever thankful for, uh, for meeting you here. Um, I hope I didn't forget anybody. I'm, I'm uh, very honored and grateful to get, uh, get this award and honored to be here. Um, I hope everybody has a great afternoon uh, tailgating. I've never tailgated in my life. I've always worked, so this is the first Saturday I get to tailgate. So uh, forgive me if I have a beer or two. Um, uh, but thank you, everybody, and go blue. He's had seven regular seasons, seven tournament titles in 12 years. Ipsil's teams have reached the postseason in each of his 12 seasons with nine NCAA tournament appearances and three WNIT showings. Additionally, Coach Ipsil's teams have won 20 games or more in each of his 12 years. He's the only women's basketball coach in the nation to produce three consecutive national scoring champions. Coach Ipsil has developed six All-Americans and five Conference Players of the Year at Middle Tennessee. He has also been the head coach for 16 of the 31 players in the program's very exclusive 1,000-point club. Please welcome the newest member of the Blue Raider Hall of Fame, Coach Rick Ensel. Everything that I have accomplished, every job I have had, and any success that I have enjoyed traces back to my Blue Raider roots. This is our bond. We cheer for one another. We believe in one another, and we celebrate one another's victories. Thank you for allowing me to be part of this exclusive group. My, my tenure is very short from this university, but being away from it, seeing the growth and everything that's happened here, it's people.
people that's on stage right now behind me that started it, and we have to keep it going. So, you know, I, I can't thank them enough. I can't thank the committee enough to give me this opportunity to be out here. It's very humbling. Um, but one thing I've noticed as I've sat here and I've watched the last day and a half is the character and the humbleness that's on this stage. From the inductees to people that have already been inducted, uh, it made me even more proud to be a Blue Raider because I came here for that reason. I came here for the grit. I came for the, for the tenacity. I came for that edginess that they had and they still have it. Seeing these people that are getting inducted now, they're still playing and, and vice versa, the people that are already in the fame, it, it baffles me. We should be honored to wear blue every single day and I, I will continually be honored to wear blue. So thank you to all you guys. I can't thank you enough. The last thing I wanna say, just because I don't wanna leave the stage crying, is everybody came here to support me. I also wanna thank everyone that doubted me and everyone that doubted all of us on stage. I was told I was too short. I was told I couldn't catch. I was told I couldn't do this, couldn't do that. I thank you. Because I've been the man in the arena and I love the critics in the stands. Because every one of you I've gotten to prove wrong. And I continue to do the same thing over and over again. So keep doubting me and let's keep going. Go Blue and thank you. God bless. Evans became one of Middle Tennessee's most decorated players during a brilliant four-year career from 2003 to 2007. Gibbons is one of four All-Americans in program history, earning national acclaim from the Associated Press and the United States Basketball Writers Association. She was also the Lady Raiders' first WNBA draft selection. Gibbons is one of only two players in school history to play in four consecutive NCAA tournaments and win games in three of them. Not only was the well-rounded Gibbons a dynamic score, but she also was one of the most complete players in program history, as evidenced by her ranking in the top five of five career categories, including steals, which she's fourth, assist, she's fourth, field goals made, fifth, scoring, she's sixth, and free throws made, seventh. She's also 11th all-time in rebounding. Gibbons was named Sunbelt Conference Player of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year, and was a two-time MVP of the Sunbelt Conference Tournament. In addition to that, she also excelled in the classroom and was a two-time COSIDA Academic All-American. Please welcome inductee number 145, Chrissy Gibbons. And uh, I don't know if most of you know, but my parents both play basketball. And um, my mama played at a time where there was no college, no collegiate basketball. And uh, they could only dribble the ball three times, imagine. They had to take three dribbles, pass it, get it back. Two players down, two players had to stay on each end. It was crazy how they did the women, like absolutely crazy. But she was that one that somebody would take their three dribbles and give it to her. She would take her three, get it back. They'll give it back to her, she'd take her three, give it back. And she was the one going back and forth. And over time, a lot of people will see me play and then over the summer they'll tell me, you know, a lot of how you play and what you get is from your mama. And for so many years, I didn't know because there was no film, there was no college for her to go play it, and I didn't know. Counts played quarterback for the Blue Raiders from 1998 to 2001 and was Middle Tennessee signal caller in its first season of Division 1A football in 1999. The Southpaw quarterback guided the Blue Raiders to their first 1A championship as a member of the Sun Belt Conference in 2001. Counts was also Middle Tennessee's first player of the year at the Division 1A level, earning the honor in 2001, and to date, he is also the Blue Raiders' only overall player of the year as a Division 1 member. Counts was also named to the Sunbelt Conference 30-year anniversary team. He's Middle Tennessee's all-time passing leader with 8,007 yards. The record book is littered with references to his ability, and it's all done while facing schedules of Div Division 1A competition for the very first time. Please welcome the very newest member of the Blue Raider Hall of Fame, Wes Counts. Be Like That was the title of a hit song by the band Three Doors Down. The lyrics to the chorus are as follows. If I could be like that, 
Well, I would give anything just to live one day in those shoes. If I could be like that, what would I do? What would I do? You see, I was raised a Blue Raider. I was raised to understand that there's nothing worse in this world than a big orange. When I was a little kid, before and after home games, a bunch of kids would play in that field right over there. And we'd wear our Marvin Collier, Tony Burse, and Gerald Anderson jerseys, imagining we were those players. When I was old enough to have heroes, my heroes were not Joe Montana, Jerry Rice, or Walter Payton. My heroes had the, had the names with the likes of Caldwell, Hall, Corwin, my big brother, Chucky Swalford, Morrison, McCamey, Fairbanks, and Pollard, Ironside, and even Kelly Holcomb. When I was in elementary school over at campus school, other kids would have their parents come to eat lunch with them. I could care less if my parents came and eat with me. I was going to see them later that night. I wanted Blue Raiders to come eat with me. And week after week, kind and caring Blue Raiders, football players and managers came and sat in little chairs and ate $1.25 lunches over at campus school. I thought I was the coolest kid. I grew up here, and when I say here, I don't mean Murfreesboro. I mean within 200 yards of where I stand today. I would walk over from campus school or Central Middle every day if I didn't have a practice or a game for my own team. And I'd be on that practice field or in that stadium, in the auxiliary gym shooting basketball or down in the weight room, might even be in the equipment room helping the managers put up shoes and laundry bags. I was able to watch these great teams and these players as I grew up and I thought how great it would be to be one of them one day. Then one night, getting the blimp ready, I used to fly the blimp, promotional blimp in the, in the, in the Murphy Center for basketball games and I'm still the best blimp pilot this place has ever had. <laughs> Dad came in the storage room where the blimp was stored and said Coach Donnelly wanted to see me. I'm like, hey, I'm flying in five minutes. Coach is going to have to wait. Dad said, no, you're going to go see Coach Donnelly. So I go see Coach Donnelly, and he says, Wes, I'd hope this day had never come. I'd hope you'd been so good that we couldn't get you or be so bad we wouldn't want you. But unfortunately, you're right in the middle where we got to take a chance on you. <laughs> so I became a Blue Raider. I registered in my first fall, then worked my way up to number two on the depth chart the first spring. After spring practice, I had a meeting with Coach Robbins, our quarterback coach, and he informed me that I was number four. I believe his words that he did not want to even give me a chance to play. He said he was too old to play a freshman. The last freshman that he played about killed him. That freshman was Kelly Holcomb. Fast forward to the season, Tennessee State, first game in the new stadium. And the cool part is Coach Robbins and me are standing on the 30, all by ourselves. And he says, you, you've been waiting on this your whole life, haven't you? Yes, sir, I have. So we go back, we come back to win the game in the first, first game in the renovated stadium. And finally, and the most important, we won a Sun Belt Championship. One of two in the 1A era. So I am fortunate and grateful to be able to play at this university that I love with a great group of guys that had a little success when nobody expected it. So when you see those kids playing in that field over there before the game, just keep in mind they may be the next Blue Raiders. Now I've been around here for a long time and I intend to be around here for a long time to come. But there's one thing that I want to leave you with and it's been bugging me for several years. People introduced me as former, former Blue Raider Wes Counts. Or this guy, he used to play here. He's a former Blue Raider. They need to understand and understand very quickly that I may be a former football player, but by God, I will always be a Blue Raider.